Hi everyone, welcome to Express Themes. In this video, we would be showing you a step-by-step -step process that explains how you can create a website using Fee Magazine. So, at this point, we are assuming that you already have installed WordPress and also you do have V Magazine theme with you. But just in case you haven't purchased V Magazine yet, we would be showing you a short clip that explains how you can purchase V Magazine theme. So in order to purchase V Magazine, you need to first go to accesspressthemes.com and then WordPress themes on Theme Forest option. After which you would reach to this place where you can see a wide collection of themes. Right now we want V Magazine, so we are clicking on Buy of V Magazine. After which you would reach to Theme Forest and you can click on Buy Now from this site. So once you've clicked Buy Now, you would be required to fill up your first name, last name, email, agree to the privacy and terms and conditions you will have to fill in your billing details select payment method once all this is done you get a downloadable file a zip file and you can download that file and get your theme by this method so this is how you can uh, purchase v magazine theme now let's get started on the tutorial So this is how our theme looks like right now, not the theme, but the website. This is how it looks like right now, and we are going to change this entirely using V Magazine. So for that, let's install the theme first by going to Appearance and Themes. Here we reach, click on Add New, and Upload Theme. Now we have chosen V Magazine and click on Install Now. So now we have install the theme successfully and we would be activating the theme so now here we have v magazine with us and as you can see here welcome thank you for choosing v magazine please make sure you visit our welcome page to get started with v magazine so that's just what we are going to do we are going to check out the welcome page of v magazine at first so if we have few recommended actions right here we're going to install and activate fee magazine companion plugin now let's go to recommended plugins as you know hundreds of dollars of premium plugins have been freely distributed with V magazine so let's take advantage of it and install these plugins as well because when you install these plugins it's going to enhance your site even further and give more functionalities to your website so we are going to install each of these Right now, I am not going to install Ultimate Form Builder because I do not require it right now. So I'm going to skip this and I'm going to install Everest Coming Soon plugin. Now that I have installed all the plugins that I've wanted, I would move forward to Import Demo section of Welcome page. So let's install and activate V Magazine Demo Importer plugin. Here we have. So yeah, by activating and installing the plugin, you can install any of these demos. Right now you can see only four demos, but a lot more demos have been added in V Magazine. So you can, with just one click, import any of these demos and have your site ready with just one click but in this video we are going to show you a complete process of how to create a website using v magazine so we would not be importing any of these demos but we would be installing page builder by site origin plugin because this plugin is going to help us incredibly a lot while designing and while building our pages so we are installing this particular plugin now let's see further 
So for support, you can either read the full documentation of the team by clicking here or create support tickets by clicking here. Now I think we should get started. So we are getting started now. We have already had uh, fulfilled all the recommended actions. We can use the customizer very soon and we have fulfilled all the actions required. Recommended plugins that we want to install have been installed and activated. And the demos importer plugin have has been installed. So now after all this is done, let's move forward to customization part of our theme. So here we are to the customization part of the theme. As you can see here in the live preview section, the look and feel of the theme has of the website has already changed a bit and we are getting the look and feel of V magazine in our site. So let's move to the general setting first. In preloader options, you can choose any of these options. I would like the one which looks like a coffee and once you have chosen the one, click on show preloader. After that, we are going to site identity. My site title is V Magazine and here tagline I want it to be magazine magazine and blog word press theme as you can see the live changes are happening now I do not want any site icons so I'm going to leave this section blank and I do not want any logo so leave it as it is and for home page templates I would like to change things a bit so I'm choosing template 3 let's see one more template how does it look like So this is how template 4 looks like, template 3. Mm -mm. I quite like template 3 right now at this moment. So yeah, I'm choosing template 3 for this site and you can experiment and choose any of these 5 templates. Moving on, colors, I want these colors to be exactly the same, so no changes here. Background image, putting up a background image does not sound so good, so I'm skipping that part. Now home page setting, here you can choose to display your latest post or a static page. I would want to display a static page and I've not created any pages as such, so there are no options, but now I'm going to add a new page and name it home. So home page is my static page. And once I've done this, I'm going to social icons and add profile. So Facebook, I'm going facebook.com. So here I've added the social icons and for this site Facebook has been added and I've chosen the Facebook icon right here and entered my URL. Similarly Twitter has been added, here it is, and added the Twitter, Twitter <laughs> URL. Also I've added the YouTube URL and icon and finally we have uh, the email address. So these are some of the social icons that I've added. As you can see here, you have numerous options of Flickr, LinkedIn, Instagram, Gmail, Google Plus, and many different other icons available. So you can choose any of these. You can choose to keep all of these icons in your website if you want and have account in all of these websites. So here we go. Now this is also over. This part is over. We have added the social icons that we wanted. And now I'm going to click publish. Now that we have all the customization options 
these is basic customization options covered we would be moving on to a little bit advanced customizations of the theme so that we can create a very very impressive website so for that we are going to widgets and menus first of all I would be creating few pages and few posts that I want my website to have so for first I'll create a few pages I'm deleting these pages that are already in our site by default and adding some pages of my own so deleting these pages from trash as well now delete permanently and apply okay so now I'm adding a new page and this page's name would be about us publishing this page and likewise I'll be creating four more pages in this video for this website now in here I've created one two three four five six different pages and uh, right now in our website we do not have much of anything but I want to create a menu in this website so what I'm going to do now is to create a menu right here I would be going to the appearance section and menu but before that I want not just a menu but a mega menu so for that I will create a few posts as well here I have created around 12 different posts and for creating a new post I went to the post section of the dashboard clicked on add new and here you can see you can type the title put in your content add media if you want and you can select the categories put on tags and set a featured image so in this way I've created post for the site and regarding categories you can either create category by clicking add new category in your post right here or you can go to categories inside of this post section in the dashboard and once you click on category you'll reach here and you can type the name slug parent category description and you can add new category like this so in these two ways you can add categories for your site so for now I've added three categories those are plugins resources and themes so these here are the categories and each the, each of these categories have four posts on it now let me remove these and since we already have this post I will now go to create a menu so here I want a mega menu and for that so since I want a menu on the top of my website, I will be creating a menu. This menu name will be V Magazine Theme and Create Menu. I want all these pages to be in the menu, so I'm clicking, ticking all these pages. Add Menu. and here we go so you can easily reorder the section of these menu in any way you want you can even make one of these a subsection or sub subsection but right now I want all of these as the main things not as a subsection so here I'm rearranging everything according to my wish and you can do the same now I want home page to be just a home page and not a mega menu about a section I do not want it to be a mega menu but collections I do want this to be a mega menu so I want it to have resources 
Okay, team reviews. I want it to have themes category displayed. And plugin reviews. I want this to have plugins displayed. And okay, now that we have done this, I'm clicking the display location as primary menu and save. Once I've ticked on the primary menu, now I'll go back to the customization options and go to header settings and then header layouts. So I wanted my menu to look just like this. So for that reason, I chose the second demo which helped me make my menu look like this. So if I chose the first demo, first option, my menu would look something like this. But I like the second one better, so I'm clicking the second one. You can also choose any one according to your preference. So here I go, I'm choosing the second one, publish, and our mega menu is ready. As you can see, we have built a mega menu from V Magazine. And now let's move on further. We have created the menus. Now let's create the home page of the site. We have already created the pages, we have already created the post, and let's create the home page of Mega Menu. Now in this video, for this site, we have chosen a home page to be displayed first as soon as people see your website. So we are going to develop and design a very attractive home page. For that, we are going to use the page builder option. As you can see, you have the option to add widgets, rows, layouts, history, live editor, and add-ons. So first of all, we are going to add few rows here. At first, I want only one row because I want there to be a slider. And now I want two rows. After that, I want one row again, and you can use the page builder in any way you like. As you can see here, in the widget section, we have numerous widgets that you can use to place these widgets in any section of your site and design the kind of site you have visualized. So using these widgets and the option to add rows, to edit rows anywhere you want to, to set row layout anywhere you want to, and with all these options, we are going to create our home page. So Page Builder is an advanced form of customization because it's so much easier. Everything can be dragged and drop and you will have your website ready in a shorter period of time. So here are some pre-built layouts as well, which we're not going to use so much in this video. Mainly we would be using Add Widget and Add Row options for this video and trust me, only with these two options you can create the most wonderful website ever. So right now I've added first row, second row and third row. The website I have visualized would have a straight one row thing in the first and second and then it will have a double row column, double row thing at the third. So this is how I've visualized my website to be. That is why I've added these many rows. While designing your home page from Page Builder, we would be majorly using only two options, Add Widget and Add Row. So these options are very useful on their own ways. In this video, we would be using only these two options. And trust me, only with Add Widget and Add Row options, you can create the best website ever. So here in the Add Widget section, as you can see, you can choose from numerous different widgets. And you can place these widgets anywhere in your site to create the kind of site you want to. And in the add row option, you can set the row layouts, one, two, three, four, any number you want. And also you can set the ratio at which these columns will be determined. 
the golden halves, thirds, so all these options are here. You can also decide whether you want to go from left to right or right to left and you can edit accordingly. So you can have uh, any number of row layouts and you can choose what, will, what would be the ratio of the columns in your rows and you can also choose whether you want the editing to happen from left to right or right to left. So these are some of the options and in here at the side, these we will not be using so much but still let's go through it. You have in the layout section, bottom margin, glutter, gutter, padding, mobile padding, roll layout, collapse behavior, background color, background image, everything. These we will not be using so much and mostly we don't need it that much. In design, you can see background color, background image, background image display. Here are the options, border color, and attributes. Attributes can come in handy if you're uh, good at coding. But for a novice person, this might not be so much of use. So, okay, here at first I have added one row because I want the first section of my website to have a full slider. Since I want a full slider, let me search it here. Full, here we go, V Magazine full slider width. So I want this to begin with, so I've clicked on this, now edit. I want my slider to display pose from latest pose, so here I go. Now I need not to select categories. Maybe six posts would be a good option. In advanced setting. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so this is it. And done. Now in the second option, I want this to be in the second option. Or let's try this one as well. Now here I have a second row and in that second row I'm going to add slider tab. So you can do these things in any way you have thought of it. As you can see I just dragged and dropped it so it's super easy page builder. You can drag and drop literally anything. And now in this column I want a third column so here I go. And in here, I would be adding grid or list post. As we showed you in the beginning, our website would look something like that. So, for our website to look something like that, we have been doing this all. Grid list post. Everything is drag and drop. It's super easy. Now, I already have arranged everything for this. Slider tab carousel. I want all these categories to be displayed. And block tit title, sorry, about V Magazine. Number of posts, probably. What is this? Okay, we close this one. Probably 12, all of them. And that's it. So done. Now we edit this particular block. As you can see, you've got three options how you want your post to be displayed. And I would want my post to be displayed like this. So block title. I want this to have a selected category and this would be, let's name this pumpkin. Just for the sake of it. Pumpkin. Is this the right spelling? Pumpkin. And I want plugins to be displayed here. Number of list. List of posts 3 and view all button. Excerpt for post description. How much how many letters do you want your post description to have? Now I'm done here. 
doing the same in these two as well. So I'm doing the same for this as well and done and I'll be doing the same for the third one. Now I have set all these three. I want to make a very small change. I would want to change the block's primary color to from white to something very light and bright. So this color I would want my block to have as a primary color and the same goes for these two as well. I'm afraid if I can reciprocate the color. I guess this was it. Done. And the same for this. So now let's see how our home page looks like up until now. Up until now, this is how our home page looks like. But I want to make a few changes. I do not want these to be here. And I also want these two sections to have a gapping in between, like the one in our theme demo of V Magazine. So I want these sections to have a little gapping in them. So now let's work on that and add a few more widgets. To edit this widget as to how, how I want it, I'm now going to, yeah, so here we had 200 letters at first, but now I've kept it to zero because the post description, these long post descriptions look rather not so good. So I have removed this and now I'm going to have only zero post description and Instead of view all button, I'm going to use the pagination type as Ajax loader. Let's see how this looks. And the same will be done for the rest of others. Done and done. So after that, as you can see, I've added two more widgets in here. A blog post slider widget and YouTube video playlist widget. Now here, I've kept the title of the block ice cream, selected all three categories, kept the number of posts, and I am good to go. So done. And here you can see YouTube video playlist. In here, I've kept the block title as tutorials and in the enter YouTube video IDs. So most of you might know YouTube video IDs. Most of you might not know YouTube video IDs. So I'll show you what you have got to do. You've got to add this section after the is equals to sign of your YouTube video copy it and paste it right here so I will be adding five more of these similar YouTube video IDs so here I've added these many video IDs and now I'm going to click done update and let's see how our website looks like as of now pretty excited right here okay so now right uh, right after YouTube video playlist I want to add one more row that would probably be somewhere around this insert and I want to add two widgets right here multiple category tabbed oops and timeline posts So these two I have added right here and uh, blog title would be more about I want all these categories to be here excerpts view all text would be view all itself Now I want the excerpts to have 200 
letters and okay so this is one more widget done at timeline post I want yeah from all the list posts and here I want the blog title to be timeline itself Time number of posts 10 perhaps yeah 10 perhaps or 8 let's see how 8 posts look like and then we can change it view all done now I want this to be in the bottom 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 section this entire row so let's drag and drop this entire row here we go this is the easiest part of page builder you can drag and drop anything anywhere and it's so easy but before we can actually go there I would like to make a few changes before we see the final output so here is our default sidebar that you can see in the bottom of our home page instead of a default slider I would like this page to have no sliders sorry no sidebar so I'm choosing this fourth option if you'd like a sidebar on your right or on your left you can click either of these options or go with the default sidebar but for me this is the best no sidebar full width option that is why I'm clicking on this and updating my site also to end the footer section of the site I want the site to have a few widgets so for that I'm going to appearance widgets when I say I want my footer to have some widgets I mean I want the end section of my website to look something like this here I'd like to clarify that we are not exactly creating the demo that we have in our Access Presses site, I mean the demos that come up with V Magazine, but this particular section is something I really love in the demo. So, this section, let's try to recreate that in our own website. So, for that, we will be going to the widget section, which you can access from Appearance and from Widgets. And once we are here, since this is the footer section of our website, we are placing the widgets in footer section 1, 2, and 3. If you'd like, you can even place it in footer widget area 4. So first of all, I want my footer widget area 1 to have navigation menu. So here, let's search for navigation menu. Here it is. And in the navigation menu, I want this to have the title navigation itself. So which menu do we want to select? V Magazine menu. Save. And uh, moving forward in the footer a area widget 2, I want uh, to have the recent posts. So here, drag it and drop it right here. So in the recent post, uh, my title, I want it to be recent post itself, show post 5, display post 8. Um, I don't want to display post date, so safe. And finally, in the future widget area 3, I want to have gallery. So gallery, and the title would be gallery itself. And now I like to select a few images. And we are good to go. Columns 3, thumbnail, yeah. So save. Now we have done all this and and finally here is our final website ready and good to go. Here we have our menu, our mega menu and then we have this full width slider that we kept using the page builder. We have blog slider carousel and we have these different components everything we created using just drag and drop and simple interface of page builder so this is how our final site looks like and uh, it's unbelievable how easily we did this with drag and drop page builder Following the steps that I've shown just now in this video, you can create other pages of yours as well and your blog magazine website 
will be absolutely ready and good to go so if you are interested in knowing something more about this video or about this magazine theme please let us know in the comment section below as in all this is how you can create your blog or newspaper or magazine website using V magazine super easy and super super convenient do check out the links below to know more about this theme and if you like this video if you know someone who is struggling with building a website then please please send this video to that person and we hope you like this video also if you have any questions please put it down in the comment section below anything that I could not solve please put it down in the comment section right below thank you for watching